Good morning, Cypress Village residents. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Chat. This is Ty Morgan, Executive Director, and today is March 25th, almost the end of quarter one, 2022 already. It's going by so quick, it's incredible. But I hope everybody's having a great start to this beautiful day. Had some nice rain over the last couple days, but it looks like the weekend and the next few days following are gonna be absolutely perfect days. So get outside and make the most of it. As usual, we have a lot of information to share with our residents out there to keep everybody abreast of what's going on within Cypress Village. I hope you all enjoy. I will wrap it up with a few updates of my own. And as usual, wish some of our residents out there a happy birthday and enjoy. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, Cypress Village. This is Laurel Mundell, Director of Administrative Services, and I am in a new location. I am in the TV studio right now, and this is where I will be starting April 4th. So this week and next week, I'm spending a couple days up here while Katie assists the business office, but um, I'm still down there for the time being just to make sure we have an extra person in the business office until Katie's replacement is completely integrated into her role. So starting April 4th, you can come up on the second floor near the A Tower to find me here. Uh, also exciting, on Tuesday we are going to use the new live stream camera that is affixed to the ceiling of Egret Hall. So those of you who were in there during the install saw that it's nice and high so it won't be, um, there won't be any obstructed views now. And it uh, rotates 360 degrees so we'll get a nice view of Egret Hall moving forward. This won't change anything about the live stream other than the fact that there will always be a camera in there. It's just going to be more convenient for the team. So be on the lookout for that. The next step in improving the live stream process will be to upgrade our uh, viewing from standard definition to high definition. So I need to order a couple pieces of equipment. Unfortunately, they are not the most uh, cheap items to, to purchase, but we're gonna get those going so that we can have a really clear defined picture. We have the high def cameras, so it's a shame not to have a high def display on all those TV screens at home. The last thing that I have to talk about is a culture committee initiative. Culture committee is made up of a group of employees from various departments who meet once a month to discuss initiatives that will improve not only employee culture, but resident culture as well. So the month of April is community service month and we also have Earth Day on April 25th. So in honor of both of these for the month of April, Culture Committee has initiated a collection for plastic bags and soda can tabs. So uh, we're gonna have a collection of plastic bags for residents outside of the Community Life Services op office. You'll see a little hamper basket there where you can drop off grocery bags. And then for the soda can tabs, this uh, you could also use soup can tabs if you have those as well. We'll have a collection jug out there in the train lobby as well. So to make it a little interesting though, for the soda can tabs, we're gonna have a little competition uh, employees versus residents to see who brings in the most soda can tabs. So go ahead and start saving those now and once you see the basket and the jug for the tabs come out then feel free to bring those down to that lobby and drop them off. The bags, we're going to use those to weave mats for the homeless. We're going to have culture committee as well, members as well as any other employees who are interested help weave. And then um, we'll also find a way to recycle any unused bags. And then the soda can tabs will be donated to the Ronald McDonald House. Um, they're able to turn those in and then receive some, um, some money in return that will go towards the Ronald McDonald House um, stays for um, those in need. So that's all I've got this time around. I will see you around the village. Good morning, I'm Virginia Ratliff. I'm with the scholarship committee. I'm one of the newer people on it. And I tell you what, when I meet with the new candidates who are applying for scholarship, they are so excited because they had no idea when they hired on here that this is going to be a possibility. And some of them are delighted to be able to go to college and somebody else is paying for it. The largest number have been the youngsters who are going to college. The second largest group of candidates that we have are people who are now early in their profession and are able to take additional coursework to help prepare them to go up the ladder in their profession. 
There's also another, I think, small group, but we hope it can be more, people who have always liked something and found a way to use that while they're here. One of those people is Chelsea Terrell, and I will let her tell you about her dream. Hi everybody, my name is Chelsea Terrell. I am the Assistant Manager of Innovative Home Services. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about the scholarship program. I just started college for the first time in 15 years. I went through the scholarship program through Cyprus and it has absolutely made it 100% possible for me to attend school. Um, I have two children and it's not really very feasible for me to just shell out all the money for college. So thank you Cyprus so much for all the donations. Thank you for making it possible. I am going to school for digital photography. Um, hopefully we'll be done within two years. I cannot thank you guys enough. I hope you guys have a great day. Hello, Cypress Village residents. This is Katie Amador from the Community Life Services Department here with a few updates for you all this week. As all of you know, we did have to reschedule our annual putters tournament due to weather this week. So the new date for that event is going to be next Wednesday, March 30th at the same time out at the boathouse. For those of you who are participating in the tournament itself, registration will begin at 10 a.m. That is when you will receive your tea time as well as your putting partners. The tournament itself will take place from about 10.30 to 1. Um, our staff tournament will take place directly following that from about 1 to 1.30. And from 11 to 12, I'm sorry, from 11 to 2, we will have our cookout and live music performed by the conch fritters who are very Jimmy Buffett style. So I hope that you all are considering joining us for that. It is sure to be a wonderful day with much better, better weather than we would have had this week. Also, just an update regarding our April calendar and newsletter. I am working to finalize those documents. We have a lot of really, really fun, exciting things coming up next month, including an Easter party for our employees, which I will be asking for some resident assistance and stuffing eggs. We also are going to have an Easter tea for all of you residents. We have a presentation from Stephen with Hannah Park. He is a naturalist who will be educating us on the history and ecology of Hannah Park here in Jacksonville. We have tons of music, whether it be here on site or attending concerts and performances off site, as well as other outings, such as a Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp baseball game, a fish-a-thon at Hannah Park, trip to the Jacksonville Zoo, and much more. So I'm excited for you all to see the April calendar and hope that you will complete and submit your sign-up forms with your choices of what you would like to attend. I'm also very, very happy to announce that we have hired a new Community Life Services Director. Her name is Lisa Drew. She will be starting on Monday, April 4th. Her first week will be a little bit of an orientation from our Human Resources Department, as well as partnering with me to receive information about all of our policies, procedures, our different programs. We will be attending a ton of programs, clubs, and groups. Um, she will be getting introduced to all of our staff, our vendors, um, getting acclimated with the community meeting all of you residents so please stop by the office that week of april 4th to introduce yourselves and welcome lisa to the cypress village family and of course once she is here and getting settled in we will feature her here on coffee chat let her tell you all a little bit more about her and her plans for programming here at cypress village also, just a quick update, I am off on Monday and Tuesday, so it will only be Julia here in the office, so I do ask that any non-urgent requests are sent to us via email at our CLS at cypressvillageretirement.com email. Otherwise, if you need urgent assistance, um, you can certainly stop by the office, give Julia a call at 904-807-6224 or email her directly. Um, if we are unable to get back to you on Monday or Tuesday, we will follow up Wednesday directly following the putting tournament. So just bear with us early next week. And I also just wanna give you all some highlights for the upcoming week. Starting today, we have the Cypress Mart from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. in A2. Cypress Mart is our resident-run thrift store, which 
Both residents and employees are welcome to shop at, and all of the proceeds are donated directly to some really nice organizations. Today we also have bingo at 3.30 in Egret Hall. It is $5 to play and cash prizes are awarded. We also have a performance this evening at 7 o'clock from Harvey Williams, and he is bringing a special guest, Bubba Alfonso. Um, again, that'll be at seven o'clock in Egret Hall, and we will also live stream to channel 267 for any of you who are not able to make it in person. Tomorrow, leaving the train lobby at 11 a.m., we have our outing to the Cinemark Theater for the Metropolitan Opera's presentation of Don Carlos. Sign up is required. Tomorrow we will also have a live performance from G Nor Dan at 7 in Egret Hall, and that will also be live streamed directly to channel 267. On Monday, leaving the train lobby at 9.30 a.m., we have our Walmart shopping trip, so if you need to get any shopping done, you are welcome to join us for that. On Tuesday at 1 o'clock, we have our mindfulness and meditation class in e uh, the OMR at 1 o'clock and at 3.30 in the OMR we have our CV cinema showing of the film The Kindness of Strangers which is a story about six different people who live in New York totally unrelated and their lives intertwine over a tumultuous winter um, and it is a drama film which I have heard really good things about and hope that you will consider joining us for that. On Wednesday, leaving at 9.30 from the train lobby, we will be heading to Mosh, the Museum of Science and History, for their Silver Space series. Sign up is required. Give us a call if you're interested, and we'll see about getting you on the list. We also have our Belk and Coles shopping trip Wednesday, leaving at 11 o'clock from the train lobby. Sign up is also required, as that is what as that is one of our specialty Wednesday shopping trips. And lastly on Wednesday, we have trivia at 3.30 in Egret Hall. We have been working slowly to revamp trivia to keep our existing teams engaged and to really encourage some new residents and new teams to come and join in on the fun. So if you have been teetering on whether or not you want to join in on trivia, I highly suggest you do. We have a lot of fun every week. My last update for you all this week is regarding our technology classes. Our vendor instructor, Matt Hull, has been out of the office sick. We do expect that he will return next Thursday for the technology classes as well as the help desk, but please keep an eye on the daily schedules for more information as we are just waiting for him to feel a little bit better before he returns. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and we will see you around the village. Good morning, Cypress Village. It's your friend, Anthony Michael Bald. I'm here to talk about a few things. We went back to weekly service. Thank you for being patient. And uh, the house is also uh, going to be whatever you got in the contract. Uh, I'm here to talk about the trash chute. Need your help in the trash chute. Laundry rooms. Laura's gonna help me with Katie to create some signs for the laundry hours. If you see something in the laundry rooms that like people are not supposed to be there, let us know so we could correct that. I know it's uh, we cleaned them, but it's it's to maintain them. It's hard because you got so many people going in. The same thing with the trash room. Let let me know or somebody know what's going on, but like I said, we're gonna create a sign that it's gonna say the hours and everything. Trash chute, maybe I, I didn't explain myself, but the trash chute boxes, I could help you with the boxes, but you gotta uh, make sure they cut, they on the side of the trash chute. Don't put them uh, through the trash chute and in the door because they get stuck. So leave them to the side, please help me help you to maintain the trash chute. Hi, and welcome to another week of coffee chats here at Middleton's and Loon's Nest dining areas. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank you for your patience during our rollout of the new Loon's Nest menu. Chef Jen and the entire team have done a great job. Um, the new items look and taste delicious. Uh, first week has been very successful. Um, new items are being well received. Definitely stay tuned next week. We're going to do some reviews of those new menu items and see what some of our residents here think. Uh, and again, I wanted to remind everyone, Wednesdays at 2 o'clock, 
On the seventh floor in room 716B, we have our Middleton's menu chat. And during that time, we review our menu of the week coming up for the following week. And it gives our residents a great opportunity to go over the menu, see what we have coming up, and even put some of their input. A lot of our third entrees, as well as our daily soups, have been brought to you by our residents, making suggestions during that time. So please come join us again, 2 p.m. every Wednesday. I uh, also wanted to say, remember with us being very busy, as you can see, we are trying to limit our seating to an hour and a half um, to give a little bit of time for your other residents that live here, time to come down and enjoy in the dining experience. The culinary team at Middleton's um, also wanted to let you know the food out there has been amazing lately. They're doing a great job. Uh, we took some recommendations and we've included some new menu items. We've also increased our salad bar options and added some different breads to the mix as well. Uh, wanted to also talk about the seating. I know we do get some residents that tend to come a little bit later. And I want to let you know that even though we do close Middleton's at 6, if you get there before 6 and place those reservations and we don't have a table for you, I assure you that as soon as the table is ready, we'll get you in there and seated. And we will make sure that we do not break down the hot, cold, and all the other great items that we have to offer that night. So again, look forward to seeing everyone this weekend. Thank you and have a great day. Also stay tuned and check out the new burger that we're offering at the Loon's Nest, which again is a certified Angus burger, a little bit bigger than our last one, and the bun is a little bit different as well. We've been getting great compliments on it. I personally love it. It's a fresh, never frozen burger that comes in, so you can definitely taste the difference. Thank you again. Y'all have a great one. Hi, I'm Austin Bailey. I have been working here for about five years now. I, um, in my me time, I like to go to Special Olympics and I like to play basketball, flag football, and also soccer. For basketball, I did, um, I did kind of okay. I was, a, um, I was second place in state. And for flag football, I was also first place in state due to um, the other team, like it was kind of good, but we were kind of good also. So um, I enjoy playing Special Olympics in my free time and I'm glad to be here at Cypress Village. You guys can find me at, in a dining facility. I am now your server. I've been promoted to a server and I was a busser, but now um, I'm a server now. My favorite thing about working at Cypress is all of you guys. I love all of the residents here and you guys make my day really, really much because I love smiling and talking to you residents and um, I appreciate all the staff here and I'm very glad that I'm working here with you guys. Hi everybody, it's Lindsay Middletons. I've met all of you many, many times, I'm quite sure. I am here, you just saw Austin, he's one of our rock stars. He's promoted and made just huge leaps and bounds throughout the last few months. And I encourage all of you to come see him at Middletons. He's here for lunch every day, except for the weekend where he goes and does all the fun stuff you just learned about. Now, I'm here to ask for just a couple favors, possibly that you might think about doing. You've all seen the new staff that I have. We're learning and we're teaching and we're growing every day. But we do have to ask for a little bit of patience, especially the days that Loons is closed. Those are our rough goes, you guys know. So all I'm asking is a little patience and we'll do everything we can to make everything perfect for you that night. Thank you, have a great day. Hi, good morning everybody. Happy Friday, it is Coffee Chat again. Uh, you all know me, I'm Susan, Director of Residence Services, and I have a really exciting announcement to make for you, so listen up. We will have Guardian Pharmacy coming to you next Wednesday in the Wellness Center from 9 until 1. 
So this is going to be a regular thing. So you will always have access to a pharmacist or a farm tech to answer all of your questions. Not only that, they are going to be stocking some of the uh, OTC, over-the-counter medications. So if you need Tylenol, Motrin, a Band-Aid, anything of that sort, then you can definitely come down to the Wellness Center and have that provided to you. And so we will also have Jasmine that will be there. She's been with Guardian for a very long time, and she will be there to help answer any of your medication questions, or anything else you may uh, need to have answered. So with that, I'm gonna bring you Jasmine. Hi, Cypress Village. This is Jasmine, the billing supervisor at Guardian Pharmacy. I met some of you residents at the meet and greet last month. I can't wait to meet more. Please come out and see me every Wednesday from nine to one at the wellness clinic. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. I'm the billing supervisor at Guardian Pharmacy. I have been there for five years. I have 15 years of pharmacy experience, 10 years as a senior technician at Walgreens Pharmacy, and five years at Guardian Pharmacy. Please come out and see me every Wednesday from 9 to 1 in the Wellness Clinic. Can't, can't wait to see you. Right, I'm back. I hope the information we're providing today is very helpful in bringing you up to speed and up to, up to date as to all of the happenings around Cypress Village. One thing I am very, very excited about that we've been working on, I can't tell you how many years, but it's been at least, I'd say at least seven plus years we have been working on trying to get a pharmacy on site here at Cypress Village. Uh, as Susan McLean had shown and demonstrated a little earlier on the coffee chat. We have finally procured that through Guardian Pharmacy. They are now our pharmacy for every aspect of uh, our operation here at Cypress Village and they are going to hopefully bring a full service pharmacy here on site more than just one day but we are going to start with that one day with Jasmine who uh, introduced herself a little earlier. But if we can really show them that the business is here and the support is here, I am sure they will extend the time that a actual pharmacy tech or pharmacist will be on site for our residents. So that is, that is great news. That's, check that one off the box. It's been there for a long time, but uh, great news. And good job, Susan and Chrissy in the uh, wellness department. Um, I just wanted to also mention the new traffic pattern that has been established out there on San Pablo. Um, I have not personally noticed much change because I only go from the beach to work and then from work back uh, home. So I haven't noticed anything going west, but I will say it's, it's been very smooth for me. Uh, Katie is going to put out an article in the newsletter, which is forthcoming that will give residents a good understanding of what that traffic pattern and flow looks like and hopefully answer any questions you may have about the divergent diamond. But um, please take a look at the newsletter for more uh, information on that. One other item I wanted to discuss is our 2021 Resident Satisfaction Survey. That survey was administered or distributed back in October of 2021. The timing of the survey could not have been worse. Uh, we were in the jowls of Omicron variant at the time. We had very limited services in place. We had probably the largest staffing vacancy we've ever had at Cypress Village at that time. It was a difficult time. However, the company, um, LCS, as well as our owners, Health Peak, wanted to get a pulse on how things are, not just here at Cypress Village, but you know, throughout the portfolio and throughout the country uh, regarding, you know, COVID, post-COVID, and just where the communities were as a baseline. Uh, many residents told me before we sent it out that it was probably not a good idea, and I have to agree with them. I probably would not have done so if it were my decision. Uh, with that being said, the survey went out. We did get um, 
I would say a very moderate response, not even low to moderate uh, response. I would say somewhere around the 50, 55 percent range. So not a great um, participation rate, which doesn't make the survey extremely uh, valuable. However, we are very interested in sharing those results finally. I know it's been a little delayed, but we do want to share all the results with our resident body. Our plans are to share the results first with the Resident Advisory Council, uh, which will be taking place uh, in the very near future. After that, subsequent to that meeting, we plan to share the entire results along with what actions the community and the community leaders are going to take to address any of the opportunities or concerns that were referenced in the uh, survey itself. Uh, we plan on doing that at community meeting, um, which is in April. Not exactly sure of the date, but uh, more info to come, and I'm sure there will be something in the newsletter as well uh, regarding the survey. Um, and with that, that's about all I have. No COVID updates at this time. I do want to let the residents know that I was made aware after the report last week or after chat last week, there, there was a resident that we were unaware of that had COVID. Um, we were unaware to report it, but um, that resident, as far as I know right now, is doing well and has recovered. So again, this week, as far as we know, there are no confirmed cases on campus, uh, employee or resident. So that's great news. So with that, let's roll into birthdays. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. Katie helped me out with a uh, handwritten list. And we have three birthday residents out there today. We've got Mr. Oliver Wiggins. Oliver, happy birthday to you, sir. And Miss Lorraine Resnick and Mary Crouch. Happy birthday, ladies. We have no birthdays on the 26th, which is Saturday. On the 27th, we've got uh, two great residents out there, Mr. Don Gerosa and Miss Louise Fontecchio. Happy birthday to you, too. On the 28th, I, this is incredible, but... Uh, couple new residents that we have, the McClintocks, Bob and Eve, married couple, both have the same birthday. That is absolutely incredible. It's got to be very convenient when you're celebrating. So uh, happy birthday to you too. On the 29th, we've got Miss Carlotta Ray. Carlotta, happy birthday to you. And on Wednesday the 30th, we've got Mr. David Marr and Lois Cook. Happy birthday to you too on the 30th. And on the 31st, we don't have any birthdays to celebrate. So happy birthday to all of the residents that were mentioned uh, today here at Coffee Chat. I hope you all have a fantastic birthday um, and a great weekend. Enjoy it. And everybody take care and God bless. Thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.